have you ever thought about cruising solo? Hmm. It's actually a really difficult decision because you're thinking, am I going to be all by myself? And what ship should I go on? Which cruise line should I go with? Will anybody talk to me? Will I know anybody on board? You know, will I be by myself the whole time? Okay. This journey is hopefully going to show you what it's like to cruise solo. I'm cruising tomorrow morning. I'm on a brand new Norwegian Encore. It's the inaugural transatlantic crossing all the way to New York from Southampton. Does that ring a bell? Oh, and guess what pubs are around the corner from me? <laughs> right, I'll be documenting my journey. I have no idea what's going to happen. I haven't, I don't know anybody on board. I haven't booked anything. I haven't organised anything. So we're just going to see what happens as a solo cruiser. Well, I've made it to the terminal. There's an absolute storm blowing outside. And that's where you check your luggage in. Port to take it. And you check in over there. I've been through security, I've checked in, all credit to Hampton Cruise Port and Norwegian Cruise Line. The porters took our luggage really quickly and we were meant to be checking in at 11 o'clock. They've got us all checked in 45 minutes early at 10.15. I have my card, look at that, and guess what? Number one. We are now boarding for the first time the inaugural Encore Cruise to New York. Hey. How exciting. And I know, hi, how you hey. doing? <laughs> now we were on the Epic last we were. year, weren't we? We were. Now was that an amazing cruise? Was they all that? Was I on it? Was that on it? Yeah. 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 Here we are. So exciting. Welcome aboard. We're so excited. Yes, the normal sailing. How cool is that, yeah? Okay, I've made it on board. And the law of the sea, you have to go to the buffet. Now this buffet looks absolutely huge. And here's my state's room. Yes, I have a balcony. One tip, yeah? Sometimes you can sometimes, as a solo traveler, if you check the prices every single week, you can upgrade from a studio to a balcony. Um, I did that and I've got the same price, which is unbelievable. So it's always worth checking because normally a balcony is way too much money for a solo traveler because you've got to pay twice the price. And there it is and hopefully you're going to see some great sunsets. Right, um, when I did my last video, I did mention that I obviously haven't organised anything, which I haven't, and I don't know anybody on board. Well, that's not exactly true. I found out yesterday on social network that one of my friends from the transatlantic I did on the Norwegian Epic last year, he's on board, which is fantastic. And as I was boarding and making a video of me live boarding, I met two ladies on the escalator that I knew from the same ship last year, the same cruise. So what happens as a solo cruiser, as you start to cruise more and more, you can bump into people you've met before, which is fantastic, so you're not always alone. Right, one of the most important things, Free Star Daily comes through every single day, gives you all the information about all the restaurants and what's happening now. Now, as a solo traveller, as you can see, if I can zoom in, hopefully you can see it, there was a solo meet and greet at 5.30, taking place at the Sugarcane Bar. Now, it's really worth popping in, yeah? Because you're going to meet other solo cruisers, and they organise um, going out to eat together if you want to, and also sitting shows together. So it gives you the opportunity of being social if that's what you want. Here we are, we're at Sugar Cane, and this is the first solo meeting, which is absolutely brilliant. And we're gonna to move to the studio lounge, and I've met some friends already, some friends who are actually on the Epic with me. We have Math and Susie, there's Bob, and that's Jose, who's gonna be our solo rep for us. As I said before, before you realise, isn't it? You've made friends, which is fantastic. Hi guys. Just want to say hi, yeah? Hey. Right, we're moving location. We're going from the Sugar Cane Bar to the Solo Studio Lounge. See you there. Hey. Have you got any idea where we're going? See, what a great way to meet people. We're completely lost, yeah? We have no idea where we're going. We have oh, made studios. Thank you. Well done. Now this is the first view of the studio lounge on the Norwegian Encore. Sorry ladies. <laughs> And here we have 
This is the studio lounge on the Encore. What do you think guys? This is the first solo meeting. And there's food. We have food. Now I know on the Norwegian Epic the best coffee machine on town on the ship was on the studio lounge. So my advice, as I said before, is go to the first meeting on in the studio lounge. Welcome to the Encore everybody! <laughs> the bliss inaugural welcome back welcome it's nice seeing you again for those of you uh we're gonna be here for the first time uh uh with me on the studio uh the solo program well uh my name is jose and i'm part of the entertainment team uh i'm not gonna say i'm the best solo host ever but uh i already did i'm sorry <laughs> you're the best one on this crew <laughs> right we just had the solo meeting we've got a solo program and this is what we'll do and we're all going to go and eat together in the Manhattans, which is absolutely fantastic. Now this is why you go to the meetings. We're in the Manhattan room. It's the first night, and we've already taken two huge tables, probably three huge tables, and here's the menu. So go to the meeting, and if you want to, we can all dine together and you can meet some great people. That's the sign. It's official. We are officially leaving on the inaugural transatlantic crossing from Southampton, non-stop, I hope, direct to New York. Wow, look at that. We have a send-off for the inaugural Encore transatlantic cruise. The choir of men will be not uh, not be tonight. It will be tomorrow. Uh, the show starts at 1 p.m. I'm gonna meet you guys by around 12:30 to 12:45. Now this is what Norwegian Cruise Line do really well, yeah. We've been walked into the theatre, we haven't had to book the tickets, they've organised it for us and we've been walked to an absolutely fantastic place. We're in really close to the front and so if you are going to go with Norwegian Cruise Line it's really worth going to the solar meetings because they organise going out for food and they also organise going out and having fun together. How cool is this? I'm sat at the bar waiting to see Choir of Man at the Jungle Bar. They've run out of beer, can you believe it? Guys, I've run out of beer. We're here for the um, trivia. I'm going to go around. Loads of us turned up now. This is our team. Say hi. 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 Hi, we're very smart people. Tell everybody what is your name and where are you from? Justin Sunbreak from the same Paul, Minnesota, US. Yeah. 15 seconds left. Oh! Waffles in raw. So here we are, laser tag, right at the back of the ship. This looks like great fun. And I want them to go around. Swing around and around. Get those hands together. Get loud. Get crazy for Ocean Music Band.
really good tip. Around about eight o'clock at night, where most people have gone to dinner, you can have the observation lounge almost to yourself. Look at that. I have never seen it so quiet. Really good tip, yeah? If you can, try and get a mid-shit cabin. I mean, it's really worth it because, look, I'm hardly moving. I apologise for the mess. It is like two o'clock in the morning. We're hardly moving. But, outside, look at that. Oh my God, it's blowing a girl. solo experience go yes because i really want to 
too sure what happened and I wanted to show you guys how the, how the experience would be from day one and kind of how it ended up. Right, well I did go to the first solo meeting, there was loads of people there. We have a wonderful solo coordinator called Jose who did an absolutely brilliant job. At these meetings, there was lots of people there every single day. We met at 5.15, 5.30 every single evening and the meetings were busy, which was great. I thought people would sort of disappear after a while, but they didn't. And basically we had the opportunity to meet each other, make new friends, which is lovely. And we also had the opportunity of going out and have something to eat with each other as well, if we wanted to. And I actually ate with a group on most nights, which I really enjoyed. Uh, at the beginning, there was a whole load of us going to eat. At the end, there was a lot less, because most people had speciality restaurant meals, which they had to use. But the opportunity was there. I also had a few nice um, evenings by myself, where I wanted my own time in the buffet, which is fantastic. So the choice is there. If you wanted to eat with people, you could every single evening, and Jose would escort you into the restaurant as the group member, which is fantastic. Right, so what did we do? Well, one of the great things Jose organised was the shows, yeah? Because there were two great shows on the Norwegian Encore, Kinky Boots and The Choir of a Man. Now, both sold out really quickly. They said they were full. You had to literally get on the ship and book it straight away. Very, very popular. But with a solo group, what Jose did, we just purely wrote our name down and he organised both shows and we had our own seat, seating area in the front left hand side of the theatre. We had fantastic seats. We met early and we were all escorted into the theatre and it was fantastic because we all got to see the shows together, which is great because, you know, it's nice to see things, these things with other people. So that was absolutely fantastic. Of course, if you wanted to, you could do your own thing. You could organise yourself and go see the shows. It's your call. But again, the option was there. If you wanted to see the show, you could do with the group. And we also, Jose also organised some of the great games because we got the, uh, the laser tag and we got the go-karts. Now, we went for the go-karts the other day and we've had terrible weather on this cruise. We're, we're cruising across the Atlantic, directly from Southampton to New York, and it's been stormy every single day, apart from now. Can you believe, yeah? So we all turned up for the go-karts, he organised that, booked it, you know, and we had to cancel because it was just too wet, the track was waterlogged. But we're going again on the last day, just before we go past the Statue of Liberty. We are going to be the last group on the go-karts, which is fantastic. But last night, we, all, we actually got to play laser tag which is fantastic, I really enjoyed that. Uh, apart from Jose, uh, who decided to change sides and went to the opposition, uh, but he lost, we won, and we shot him, which is great. The, the biggest pro for me, the observation lounge. That is the most incredible observation lounge I've seen. It's fantastic. I will miss that so much when I go on other ships, yeah? It just, yeah you've seen the video of that. It goes all the way around. It's incredible. It's absolutely fantastic. And I would say, you know, it's, it's the biggest highlight of this ship for me. And the entertainment, the shows. The shows are first class. I mean, Kinky Boots, West End, Broadway Standard. Absolutely, yeah? What a cast. But my favourite, Choir of Man. That was so cool. And I got a drink on stage. How good was that, yeah? So absolutely fantastic. But the bands, you've got the Beatles bands, the Guns N' Roses. There's just so much going on. There were so many groups out there. There's so much great music on their ship, yeah? So the entertainment, there's always something to do. The entertainment is absolutely fantastic. And I'd say the never-ending buffet. It just goes on forever. If you're going to cruise to Alaska, if you're going to do the Panama Canal, if you're going to do the Northern Lights, I cannot think of a better cruise ship than the Encore. That observation lounge is absolutely fantastic. I think the Encore is brilliant for families. I think families are going to fall in love with the ship. I think it's fantastic for solos as well. There's just so much to do. The solo program is fantastic. Silas, the cruise director, he turned up at one of our meetings and bought champagne, which is great. I mean, it always comes from the top, so a massive thank you to Silas for what you've done. We really appreciate that as solo travellers. And Jose, the best solo coordinator we could have hope we could have ever hope for. He's been an absolute star. There's no doubt the solo coordinator can make or break your cruise. No doubt about that. Thank goodness we had 
we had Jose, and he has made our cruise for us. You know, it's been a it's been a bad weather cruise. It's been stormy the whole time. You know, it's been difficult. We've never got really to use the top deck. We've already been cancelled for go karts once. It's been difficult. You know, we've been cancelled for the laser game as well. But we got to play it. We just I had a wonderful time. So I really, really do highly recommend this ship. It's absolutely fantastic. And having experienced the observation lounge and all the other things, I definitely really want to try the Bliss next because it's still got the observation lounge, which I'm going to miss so much. It's got the go karts, and it's also got Spice H2O. So that's my next ship to try. But if you are thinking of booking the Encore, I mean, go for it.